The Langtang Valley is nestled into the heart of the Nepalese Himalaya. It is the third most popular trekking destination in the closest to Kathmandu, accessed by road along the bone-rattling Trizali Highway. The outward trek is usually three days, beginning in lush forest. You'll pass a village every hour or so, each offering lodging, food and electricity. The most popular villages for trekkers to stay the night are Lama Hotel, Langtang Village and finally Kaijin Gompa. This was my room for the night at the Hotel Tibetan. It was actually very comfortable. Each lodge provides mattresses and bedding, which reduces your backpack weight. On the second day, you'll emerge into a broad U-shaped valley surrounded by spectacular snow-capped peaks. Kaijin Gompa is the highest village in the valley and a perfect base for several rewarding day trips in the area. One of the more ambitious day trips from Kaijin Gompa is the ascent of Tsurgori, pronounced Chergori by the local people. The ascent and route finding is straightforward, but the altitude will be a challenge. It is recommended to have climbed Kaijin Ri the day before to aid acclimatisation, but also it offers views of Chergori and the route. The trail leaves the eastern end of the village, heading up valley. Within 300 metres, you'll reach a sign junction. You need to take the left and higher trail. The lower trail drops down to the river and follows that up valley to Langshishakaka. The Chergori Trail ascends to a prominent ridge gaining elevation quickly with clear views down to the vast glacial fan that spans the entire valley. The ridge will briefly flatten and you'll find another sign junction. Again you need to take the left and higher trail. The lower trail is for Yala Peak Base Camp but you may actually return on that trail. It's better in descent because there's a critical junction that's easy to miss going up. The track circles around the northwest side to the back of Chogori. The last hundred metres or so is up through a boulder field, but the track is quite obvious. You can actually see the whole route up Kanjin Gompa, middle of the screen. And you should be able to see the track there on the prominent bridge. Some trekkers race up in three hours and typically suffer from the lack of oxygen. A more realistic time is five to six hours to the summit, allowing time to rest and enjoy the views. In the popular trekking seasons, the summit of Chogori is a pleasant grassy dome, although snow will be present at times. It's a beautiful place to sit for an hour or two, contemplating the wonders of nature. Make sure you bring sun protection, a few litres of water and some snacks from one of the bakeries in the village and also a woolly hat and down jacket. The warm clothing will make the summer experience more pleasant. The panorama from Sergo Ri is just fantastic. Snow-capped peaks all around. You look down on Kaijin Ri where you probably trekked the previous day. Its height dwarfed by the scale of Langtang Le Rung. The aesthetic Gang Chempo will constantly grab your attention, with the shadows of the flutings ever changing. Make sure you get an early start, because cloud and mist can develop in the afternoons, obscuring the magnificent panorama. When you're ready to descend, you can return the way you came, or it's recommended that you circumnavigate the summit and return by the Yala Peak track. From the summit, follow the trail towards Gang Chempo and it will then swing around and rejoin the main trail after a couple of hours. The descent on the loop is just as impressive as the ascent. The ascent of Chogori should certainly be part of your Langtang trek. The views will remain in your mind for a lifetime.